15 Things You Didn't Know About Sephora Welcome to Alux.com, the place where future billionaires come to get inspired. If you're not subscribed yet, you're missing out. Hello Aluxers, welcome back for another exciting original video presented by Alux.com. Whether you're a woman who likes to wear makeup, a guy who buys his girlfriend perfume, or a guy who wears makeup, you know the Sephora brand. Most major malls and shopping centers in America have a Sephora store, and the brand isn't even American, it's French. With more than $4 billion in sales a few years ago, Sephora's managed to remain one of the leading beauty outlets, up there with stores like Ulta, Ipsy, and Lush. But let's learn some more, shall we? Here are 15 things you didn't know about the Sephora brand. Number 1. Sephora was started in 1969 by Dominique Mandenaud in Limoges, France. While a lot of people think that Sephora is an American brand, it was actually founded back in 1969 in Limoges, France. A man named Dominique Mandenaud saw that when women bought perfume, they had to buy it without knowing what it smelled like. He wanted to create a unique way of selling perfume so that people could smell and even sample the scents before buying them. Within a few years, he branched out into selling makeup and other beauty products. Number 2. Sephora doesn't refer to their store as a store, they call it a stage. Don't make the mistake of referring to the brick-and-mortar Sephora shop as a store. Sephora is very clear on the fact they work on a stage. That's what they call their sales floor. And their sales clerks aren't associates, they're cast members. If you ask to speak to a manager at a Sephora location, you'll be sent to someone called the director. And as you probably guessed already, they don't wear uniforms, they wear costumes. Number 3. The company severed ties with Olivia Jade after the USC admission scandal In 2018, Sephora had partnered up with YouTube personality Olivia Jade. They intended on using Jade to advertise their new bronzer. Olivia Jade, if you weren't already aware, is the daughter of famous actress Lori Loughlin. Last year, Loughlin, alongside other celebrities and wealthy parents, were accused of using illegal means to get their kids into the University of Southern California. Allegedly, Loughlin spent over $500,000 to buy Olivia Jade's admission into the prestigious school. She was also accused of submitting fake pictures, showing both Olivia Jade and her sister playing sports. In reality, they'd never played the sport a day in their life. As soon as the news broke, Sephora severed ties with the YouTuber and canceled their contract. Number 4. You can get up to three free samples every time you visit the store. Anyone who's ever been to a Sephora shop should know that they get as many as three free samples every time you go there. This includes perfume. If you ask for perfume samples, you don't get cheap and flimsy scented wipes. Oh no, you get an actual tiny spray bottle with your favorite or next favorite perfume in there. Interesting bonus fact, there's no limit to what you get a sample of. Sephora sells perfumes that are close to $1,000, and you can get a sample of these perfumes as well. In fact, you could go back every day and get one if you really wanted to. Number 5. They have a very generous return policy You would think that, since they sell makeup and beauty products, Sephora would be stingy when it comes to returns and refunds. This isn't the case at all. Sephora actually offers a full 100% refund if you return any product within 60 days of buying it. You do need your receipt, but they don't care if you've used the product. If you don't like it for any reason, you can return it and get all of your money back. Number 6. The name Sephora comes from the Greek word for beauty You might be wondering where the name Sephora comes from. Not surprisingly, it comes from two words. It comes from the Greek word for beauty, which is sephos. It's also derived from the name of Moses' beautiful wife in the Bible, Zipporah. Put these two words together and you have beautiful wife or beautiful woman. That's what Sephora stands for. Number 7. Sephora created an app for finding your best color palette. It's important to the creative team at Sephora that their customers have the perfect products to buy in their store. That's why they created a handheld app. It's called Color IQ and it was created by the researchers at the Pantone Color Institute in France. You simply scan your skin into the app and it'll give you the best color palette for your skincare and makeup. It's compatible with up to 110 different skin tones. Number 8. Employees are required to wear a certain amount of makeup. 
If you don't intend to buy and use the products at Sephora, you better not apply for a job there. All Sephora cast members are required to wear a certain amount of makeup. You won't find anyone on stage with an au naturel look. Employees must wear eyeshadow, mascara, foundation, and lip color. They're also encouraged to use the skincare offered at Sephora and to wear the store's perfumes. Number 9. If customers return a lot of a certain item, Sephora takes it off the shelves. If a product sells, it'll remain on the shelves at Sephora. The only time they'll take a product off the shelves is when they think their customers don't like it. The best way for them to track this is to look at the number of returns for particular items. If a lot of customers return a certain item, there's a good chance Sephora will stop selling it. Number 10. Sephora's revenue for 2013 was $4 billion. For a company that only sells makeup, skincare products, and perfume, Sephora sure makes a lot of money. Their revenue for 2013 was over $4 billion. This is in large part due to the fact they have over 2,300 stores worldwide in 33 different countries. But their revenue of $4 billion doesn't even make a dent in the $56 billion spent every year on makeup in the U.S. Number 11. In April of 2019, Sephora was accused of being racist. Last spring, social media influencers and black comedians spoke out about what they described as racially motivated mistreatment while at Sephora. Famous actor and comedian Leslie Jones said she felt she was treated poorly by the staff at Sephora because she was black. Two months later, an online customer asked if the company shipped to Israel. Someone who worked for Sephora tweeted back the company did not ship to Palestine. Clearly, Sephora was facing a major problem. In response, they shut down 400 of their stores for about an hour to hold what they referred to as diversity training. However, many critics claim there's no way they can train employees to not be racist in a single hour. Number 12. You can buy an $860 bottle of perfume at Sephora. One reason so many people love Sephora is because they get free samples. This comes in handy when you consider that Sephora actually sells perfume by Tom Ford that retails for $860 a bottle. This is for the 8.5-ounce bottle. If you don't want to spring the $860, you can always opt for a smaller one. Number 13. One of Sephora's biggest competitors is Kylie Cosmetics. For years, one of Sephora's competitors has been the US-based Ulta Beauty. However, after Kylie Jenner relaunched her Kylie Lip Kits in 2016 as Kylie Cosmetics, Sephora found their new competition. Kylie Cosmetics is currently worth about $800 million. Now, that's not nearly as much as Sephora, but it is expected to become a major competitor in the next few years. Number 14. Sephora is actually owned by Louis Vuitton Moet Hennessy. While Sephora was founded by Dominique Mandenaud, it's now owned by the luxury brand Louis Vuitton Moet Hennessy, or LVMH. Its home base is in Paris, France. They sell more than 300 different brands and have more than 500 stores worldwide. Most recently, they paired up with the almost defunct JCPenney to become their exclusive in-store and online beauty retailer. Number 15. Sephora customers can spend up to $35,000 to earn free trips. People who shop at Sephora can sign up for the company's reward program called VIB. This stands for a very important beauty. Anyone can sign up for the program. It entitles you to sales invites, special promotions, and what Sephora refers to as insider information. And if you spend at least $1,000 in one year, you'll be upgraded to the Rouge tier. This is an elevated level of VIP status. People in this tier can qualify for free trips to different Sephora cosmetic locations, like New York City and Los Angeles. Angeles. However, it can cost a customer up to $35,000 to qualify for just one free trip. So there you have it, Alexers, the 15 things you didn't know about Sephora. Before we let you go, of course, we're curious. Now that we've gone through the list, we want to know what's the most you've ever spent on a lipstick? Let us know in the comments. And of course, for sticking with us until the end, here's a bonus fact just for you. Sephora was originally a perfumery in France. It wasn't until later they decided to sell makeup and other beauty items. The original owner wanted to offer people a way to smell and sample perfumes before they bought them. 
Sephora recently released their latest campaign, which is based on fluid identity. They want to show their products are perfect for people, whether they identify as he, she, we, or they. Thank you for spending some time with us, Aluxer. Make sure to subscribe so you never miss a video. If you want more, we handpicked these videos you might enjoy. Or head over to alux.com for the best in fine living content on the planet. Be a part of the largest community of luxury enthusiasts in the world and tell your story.